On today's episode of The Shed Sesh, we're making a tub trailer. In this episode, we're gonna to try to finish off this uh, trailer. This thing has been dragging on for about four years. So um, just every time I go and do something, you know, I have to buy something else for it. So uh, it just kind of kept on going on the back burner. Okay, so this is a uh, project I've been uh, meaning to get to for a while. <clears throat> it's a uh, Hilux tub that is going to get turned into a trailer. So I've had the steel for a while, but I've done it. Surprise. And I'll take you into the, uh, the shed and show you the frame. The steel is 50 by 75 uh, by 3 mil. Uh, it's probably a little bit overboard, but uh, I don't want this thing to fall to pieces. the draw bar so we've got two points of uh, <coughs> connection to the frame so make it a bit stronger what I want to make sure <coughs> is we will have the springs coming over here I don't want to lose travel which it looks like I'm gonna do so anyway watch this space and we'll see see how we work out Clamped it all to the bench. I've cleaned up around where the welds will go. Yeah, try to make them as clean as possible so, so you don't contaminate the weld. I've done it on the underneath and under there. It's clamped to the bench, so hopefully it uh, helps it keep a bit of uh, square. Okay, so I've got uh, tacks around. She's all uh, the whole thing's really only tacked at this point. Still got to run a uh, you know finish off welding the, ta the tabs on and go around and fill in the welds. And that'll be about it for today because we <coughs> I've got the uh, the leaf springs over there. I haven't got the leaf spring hangers. So no, they've got a weld out there and about there. So um, <clears throat> I've got to order those. And then we'll be back. All right, so I might be looking a bit flushed. It's a, bit, it's a good uh, 30 degrees here today. So uh, probably a bit warmer in the, in the shed. So uh, anyway, it's not stopping me. You're gonna get hot and uh, sweaty doing the welding anyway. So uh, I've been continuing on the uh, the trailer build. I haven't had the camera go. Plugged up the ends. I've just tacked these ones at the moment. Made a bit of a pig's ear of these ones. Plugged up the uh, both ends. 
but um, they're all right. The drawbar, ring connection thingy, what's the name? So anyway, I'll be here uh, working that up over here. <coughs> now I'll spin you around. And there she is. <coughs> Destroyed the holes. Now that will connect. Down there. So that's all cleaned up. And of course that, that bit will be welded to the uh, drawbar. So we're getting there. Getting there slowly. What I have done, I need about five meters of uh, cable. I want to run all the, the cable internally. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I don't have a, uh, I've got these you push through, just protects the cable. And of course it's a, uh, a 16 mil and I've only got a, a 30, 13 mil uh, bit. But anyway, I'll, what I'll be doing, be a hole drilled in the end here. And then the cable will run down, drop through into this rail, come out, I'll just, I'll exit it here. And then uh, it will sort of run up across the back into the, uh, into the lights. Okay, so what I've done here, <coughs> I've come out and put the spring there, got the center line, it's probably going to have to come back just a little bit, uh, so I we'll know where, and I've marked down here, where to weld the spring hangers, over there, I'm going to adjust that one when I get in the shed, but uh, you know that one, but uh, that's it, upside down, so I'll have to come out again and uh, Growing down some of the welds, but um, it's coming along. This right here is why I love the arc welder. Not 100%, but look at that. I don't like it anyway. There you go. That's what I'm done. Here. What I'm doing here is running some wires. I've just Doing a bit of a pre-paint of the uh, rear so I don't have to tape up the wire when I paint it. And I will be running it down here, as you can see, through this hole. I'll come along, out the back, through this hole. So I'll uh, pre-paint that one as well. But uh, as you can see, I've done a bit of grinding, they do say. If you grind your welds, you're not a welder, you're a grinder. Well, <clears throat> I'm a project manager, so <laughs> I'm nothing. But I'm giving it a crack, and that's what it's all about. So I've just uh, welded some of these on. <coughs> Over this side and the other side, just to, uh, you know, hook onto when you're tying down anything on the drawbar. But, um, we'll see how that goes. We have run it through, and what I've done here, it's a 16 mil hole with a, uh, with a feral um, <coughs> guide, um, so it's just plastic uh, anyway, so as this is vibrating around inside, um, it won't chew the wire to pieces. So I will put one on each end, so again, it's protected against the sharp edges of the uh, the wire. Now I will be welding this. 
very carefully. So I don't want to get too much heat into that because it's just going to heat up this, melt that, melt the wire, and uh, be an absolute mess. So uh, I'll be probably stitch welding it very carefully, slowly, just little tacks every now and then, let it cool down. And, uh, grind it up again and then uh, should be done. Later in the void. So these were spring hangers I bought off uh, bought off eBay. Uh, they're great. They've got nice big, you know, nice big bolts. But um, I'm trying to use the original the Hilux springs that I pulled off my Hilux, and they don't fit in the uh, the front spring eyes. So I've just ordered some shorter ones. So as it turns out, more dramas with this bloody trailer. I went and ordered the wrong steel, five mil thick instead of about seven or eight mil, eight mil thick. Um, <clears throat> so I can't make the new spring hangers. Uh, fit in it before, got the bender up there now so I can bend the, uh, the hangers the size I need if I get the right steel. So I've got a, uh, a shit ton of steel delivered. Um, it's not gonna help me with this. So uh, what I will do, just a bit of reinforcing on one of the mounts. Uh, I figured, you know, I've just got these two sort of ears hang off here, bolt into the uh, at the tub. Um, probably would be okay, but yeah, you know, as all the weight's just down, down on, you know, it's not going to be, you know, trying to pull the tub off. But I'm just going to chuck these little ears on here, um, just to, uh, yeah, just. One there, one there on both sides, uh, just to strengthen it up a little bit. So, uh, actually, it'll strengthen up a lot of it. Anyway, we're stuck into that. myself six meters of 40 by 5 mil I need 40 by 8 mil so I got myself a meter and a half of that so now I can bend up some uh, spring hangers and the bolts turned up so everything's coming together I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna uh, Waiting on the uh, oh, waiting on the um, bushes for this. But anyway, so we're gonna I'll sort of measure these up. Yeah, pretty much. Bang. For the bit extra, we're gonna bend them up, and I'll mark where the holes are going. I'll do the holes afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that way. I don't have to, the bends don't have to be perfect. But uh, yeah, let's get going.
update. So I've managed to uh, to put the, the front spring spring hangers on. Um, I've got bolts that are the same, the right length. I tell you, this, uh, this thing's been fighting me all the way. Now all I'm waiting for is the, uh, the eye bushes for this one. So they're taking their time. Everything in Melbourne is bloody rubbish at the moment. So uh, once I've got that on, I can put both springs on and get the axle in and we're good to go. So I'm going to have to press it in. So I'll, uh, I'll get at least one mounted and then we'll, uh, we'll finish the other one off when the, when the stuff comes in. But uh, get pretty excited. Let's do it. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dark is in front of the devil's maze. It's a good world. Installing the nipple. I don't know why I always think of Ren and Stimpy when I'm. Uh, let me say that. I'll try and I'll try and find the footage. Uh, hello, sir. Would you like to buy some shiny new rubber nipples? I made them myself. All right, so. <clears throat> We've got one spring on, still need the bushes to do the other side, but I'm trying to work out where the uh, yeah where the, the axle goes. Uh, obviously the axle will go central and on the um, on these divots here. I'm gonna have it um, on this side of the spring. Um, but yeah, just sort of the wheel, the wheel width. So uh, we've got from the edge of the edge of the chassis here. Of the frame to the face of the wheel is about 180 mil. So um, I'm, I'll work out. I'll put this a bit shorter. That way I can this this goes into about here. So um, so it heaps to play with there, and then I'll be able to put it on and fine adjust it, tack it, and weld it up. So I will be drilling some plug welds up in here as well, just to. Uh, so it's not just been held around there, but this is um, this insanely thick uh, axle. Although it's hollow, this is the uh, the size pipe that uh, draw bars draw bars are made out of. So uh, happy days, we're getting there. All right, it's all measured up. So from from the frame out, it's about a hundred mil. So hundred mil on the other side. Frame's about um, 110, so 1300, and uh, that'll give us a bit of play, wiggle room for the uh, the axles to go backwards and forwards as well. Um, and uh, he'll be able to get some wood. All right, so I'm pretty sure I've already got footage of doing this, but uh, I'll go through greasing your bearings without like a um yeah bearing packer or you know you can get the you can get these i'll chuck a photo up here somewhere um you get these bearing packers that um squeeze the grease you know using a grease gun into the uh into the bearings uh if you don't have one of those you do it by hand just the way daddy taught you literally to start with just make sure all the the crack and crud is out of the bearings um Good chance that's got a whole bunch of iron filings and all sorts of dust and rubbish in it. So uh, I'm just going to clean all that out first with some turps and uh, let that sort of dry off a bit and then uh, we'll grease the bearings. So, starting with uh, starting with the backside, you pretty much just 
scrape in, use high temperature bearing grease. Get it in the palm of your hand, like that. And what you're trying to do is literally just scrape it up into, it goes like that. You'll see it starts squirting out in between the bearing, the bearing races in the, uh, in the carrier. And so it all, uh, it all packs in. Gloves always help. It's probably the first time I've ever done it using gloves. <laughs> Usually just get it all over the joint. And there we go. And then place her in. Now this is the uh, the back seal goes in there. So I'm going to uh, fill that up as well. Something that would fit on. Knock it in. But if you don't have that, just use ammo. As you can see, if you see the seals up in there, do the same with the, uh, the next one. Washer, the castle nut or castle nut or however you want to say it. Once you've, once you've put that in, you can chuck the split pin on and uh, get that on. Okay, you would not believe it, but the uh, the bushes came in, so uh, we've got both of them up there, both of them on. I have got the axles pretty much set up, so I've got the stub axles in there, I've got them tacked in. I, uh, I clamped them to try and keep them straight, clamped them against two surfaces um, through the holes. So uh, to try to keep this, you know, straight and, and true, you know, because there's just a tiny little bit of movement uh, there was in there um, either way. So don't want scrubbing out tyres for no reason. Now I'm at the point where I can start plug welding and welding these up. I have kind of tested it on the kind of tested it on the um on the tub itself uh and uh i'm just i'm just worried that it's not a hundred percent so um what i might do is literally take the whole trailer out fit the wheels up um and just see where they where the wheels fit in the um you know sort of in the wheel wells it should be fine, but once I do all the plug welding and, and welding around the uh, yeah, welding around here, it's um, it's going to be a hell of a lot of work to uh, to clean up, yeah, you know, to redo it or to cut it apart and then uh, and then redo it. So I only want to do it once, and I don't want to stuff it up. So I'll uh, Try to get this out now. This has got the bloody springs on it. Um, it's going to be twice as heavy, so um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. <laughs>
Burst me bubble. Anyway, so we've got it on. Bolts through there and on the other side, and there on the other side. So now we'll get the uh, the axle across and the wheels on. Make sure the track width is okay. So we go. I don't know how the hell I'm going to flip this over. Hopefully, I can use the tree somehow. Anyway. Well, kind of glad I did that because they do sit in a little bit too much. They don't line up with the centre of the uh, the mud flap either. Uh, they look like they're they're in the right spot as far as the um, the guards go. They'll drop. They they'd still drop down inside the flares. Um, but and it just looks a little bit uh, math. So I think what I'll do is um, just take them out about a centimetre each, each side. Glad I did that one. It's bloody hot. Can you hear me? All right. So it's absolutely pouring down. Plug welds here, here, here. There's one hole at the back that sits in the springs. Uh, and I'm going to go practice my TIG and I'm going to TIG up around there on both sides. Let's go. So as you see, the idea is just to fill, it's not just to fill the hole, but what you want to do is go, you've got a bridge between the steel on the inside and this steel all the way around, so you're going backwards and forwards like that, and a bit of a circle, fill it in, whoop, done. And again, the whole reason for that is if you're only, you're only welding up around here, you, you might have the best weld in the, uh, in the world, but it's only one central point that this might have a bit of a, bit of a rock, crack it, the whole thing comes out. So this is you know, triple, quadruple uh, bit of strength.
I was just doing the editing and I realised I hadn't actually got any footage of this thing. It's a bit of a walk, walk around. So there she sits. <clears throat> so I've still got to put some chains on it and uh, Possibly a uh, toolbox there, or a mount for the uh, the spare wheel. I'm going to mount this uh, sports bars properly, but um, there we go. It's a bloody hefty axle. This thing would be a great four-wheel drive trailer. Uh, I'll see how it goes. I might have to put some uh, shocks on it under there, but uh, see how bouncy it is. Hey guys, thanks for watching. It was a, uh, a long time coming, this video, as you saw. I started recording in 2018. I had all the excuses under the sun to, uh, to not finish it off, but she's finally done couple of little things to, to nip up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this type of stuff, head down below, like and subscribe. And as always, love your work. Get in the shed.